Hi, this is Lynn Pavlis Jenkins of LPJ Consulting, and today's topic is Take the Digital Balance Week Challenge. Earlier this morning, a colleague of mine, Sarah Pongelupi, who is an Italian executive coach and trainer based in Paris, held a roundtable session as part of the Seventh World Business and Executive Coach Summit. We call it WBEX for short. And when Sarah facilitated this session, she wanted to talk about the challenges of email communications and why more than ever, we need to be addressing these both personally and with our clients. So with Sarah's permission and blessing, I'm going to outline what are some of the solutions that we came up that fall under the umbrella of something called digital ecology. Basically, how to reduce our digital footprint in others' lives. The first part was to decide to be part of Digital Balance Week. And what that entails is letting people know that send you email messages that you are going to focus specific time to check emails and to respond to emails. So for instance, you may choose that that's at noon or maybe from 3 to 3.30. Whatever works well for you and the way that you are best energized. So if you're a morning person, you may want to get other projects done first and then check email. Or if you're a night owl, maybe you check emails later in the evening and then go about your work, whatever works for you. So that's the first step, is setting specific times to check email. The next, as part of Digital Balance Week, is to set an out of office and auto reply. And what this would look like is, I'm actually going to read the example that Sarah shared with me, so that I um, include all the important parts. It says something to the effect of, Hello, and thank you for your email. I'm practicing digital balance this week. Email access will take place between noon and 1230. For time sensitive matters, please send me a text or SMS. Thank you for your support and patience and do not hesitate to try it yourself. I think this is an awesome message because it shifts the way we communicate with one another and it shifts the way we've been trained as smartphone users to instantly respond and instantly do something and instantly look at our messages and instantly look for likes. And it takes back our day and allows us to allot specific times for specific tasks and email being one of them. It also, what I like about it, is that it sets the expectation when you'll be able to devote your time and create a better response, be it from noon to noon, noon to 12.30 or from 3 to 3.30. So also, I want to point out, notice that it says for time-sensitive matters and doesn't use the word urgent. People's definition of urgency differs. And so I love that she's chosen to use the word time sensitive. And the third thing is establishing rules of engagement for communication with the people in your lives. So it can be with your family and friends, and it can also be with your customers and clients and coworkers. I often ask a client, what's the best way to communicate with them? Each of us has a preferred platform. And I often like to suggest that for communicating larger pieces of information or attachments that we use email and for checking in on appointment times or something very quick that we use a text or SMS. We often use also apps like WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. So the key here is, is to discuss with one another what's the best way to communicate and to ask for what you need as the recipient of the communication also. The last suggestion 
that Sarah and I talked about at the round table was to take the weekend off or at least to take Sunday off. If you practice yoga or meditation, you know the value of the cool down or the place of taking space and clearing your mind. It's in that time and in that space that we often can have great insight and we can also create wonderful things later in our day. But in order to do that, we have to set time aside. And our electronics intrude into our life in so many different ways. So maybe start out small and take Sunday afternoon off or Sunday morning and build to being able to take the weekend off. Or maybe just choose to go cold turkey, as they say, and say, I'm not going to communicate electronically on the weekends, except for urgent matters. But not really urgent matters. I was checking to see if you were listening. It's for time sensitive matters. If you would like to talk more about how to communicate better, please reach out to me at lynn at lpjconsulting.com and also please reach out to Sarah Pongalupi, P-O-N-G-I-L-U-P-P-I, if you would like to know more about Digital Balance Week and being a digital ecologist.